what's up you guys it's good to be back welcome to my channel if this is your first time please excuse my face i'm going to be doing a, a basic everyday look for me i'm actually getting ready for church right now so yes this ex explains why i look like this but i am i want to apologize because i did not post last sunday and I was just going through some personal stuff and I just needed a break from all this. It was kind of overwhelming. But now I hear, I'm here, I hear. I'm here and I'm back and I'm better. And I'm just ready to post again. All right, so we're gonna start with, of course, the basics of the basics. I'm gonna start with a face primer. We're gonna start with the face primer. It's actually mint um, post shave balm. I have sensitive skin, so I've been using like a drugstore um, product as my primer. It's just cause like certain stuff makes me break out. So I've always stuck to this. Next things next, I'm going to be using the Cl uh, Clinique Moisture Surge. It's like, my skin's really dry except for my nose. I have an oily nose, so just excuse that. Um, I just want to shout out my grandma, Hope. She works at our local Bells. Love her. She gets stuff done. Good deals going for you guys. Just go hit her up. <laughs> You're welcome, grandma. <laughs> um, but yeah, Clinique, this Clinique moisturizer is really good and I like to use it. Okay, so first things first, I'm going in with my eyebrows. I've been using this sample actually from one of my Ipsy bags and I still haven't ran out. It's from Benefit Give Me Brow. It's really, it's like a really good thing to use. I've been using that as like my set. And then after that, I would go in with it with one of my um, drugstore things by L'Oreal, the brow stylist frame and set. So it's like this, and I it came with the brush, so I've always been using it. All right, so it's on my eyebrows. And again, I'm just gonna say this. Please excuse the faces that I will be making. They are very, very, very ugly, but you know, it is what it is when you do your makeup, so yeah. What I'm going to be doing is usually I start off at my bra bottom brow, right there, and then I kind of like blend it up and like go, I don't really know how to describe it, but I kind of like blend it in with all the rest of it, but I go over my top brow, but for right now I'm just going over this, now I'm going on my top right here kind of just like a little outline of it don't try to like aim to make it thicker or bigger just go like off your hairs if that makes sense you don't need to make your hair more like go past your hairline of your eyebrow <laughs> basically I kind of like go sloppy when I first do my first set of my eyebrows because I actually go and clean it up with my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea concealer I usually do that so this is why they look kind of bad at the beginning but then I go over them after I put my concealer on and I give it the real shape that it needs to be I guess you can say just like a more sharper look okay guys and then this is a step where I use my L'Oreal eyebrow set thing and then like while I'm doing it I kind of just go over like the same routine how I started my eyebrow I start off on the bottom fill it in and then I'll go through and do the top part of my eyebrow and then kind of just like work it blend with it all right so next things next I need to finish re going over with my concealer little brush for my eyes just go over it and then work your way up spread it And then now I'm going in with my banana setting powder. Um, I actually got this in my little Ipsy bag and I've been using it. And it see, like, they give you, like, big stuff. And I've been using that 
and it's been lasting but I'm just gonna go and pat some on get it ready for my eyeshadow <laughs> this is killing me oh my god I look so ratchet okay so the next things next I am actually going to, going to be using my Tarte um, concealer again this is what I do I go over the parts of my skin that are broken out so for example so like this is like a coat I guess you can say I usually do my eyeshadows and when I do my eyeshadow I set my concealer first and then after that I normally go in straight to it with my foundation so then I'm just kinda like gonna spread it on the areas that are very rough again this is a technique that one of my family members had showed me Caitlin go hit her up girl like if you're watching this hit her up for prom love her and I was like kinda like looking for stuff that I wouldn't do normally and see how I would use it in my makeup life and this has been one of the good things that I've been doing and using I absolutely love it so first thing is first I go in with this brush from elf and I kinda just like spread out my setting powder make sure there's none that are loose blend it in and then the next thing is this is legit my favorite palette I would use every single day um, it's the Kylie Jenner bronze palette and it's the best of the best like if you just want to go with a natural look every day like you know if you're not really into big poppy colors this is the palette I recommend to you and it's so amazing pigmented and I'm going in I don't know if you can see it my brush is really dirty Ugh, sorry I didn't clean it but I'm going in with like this cream one and I kind of just outline my eyebrows and still give it that shape So then the next thing I'm going in with is this just this like little brown right here as you can tell I've used this so much and it's just my favorite shade. I'm sorry I don't know the names of them I should but I don't. But I'm going also in with the Farrah eyebrow brush. A Farrah eyeshadow brush. Oh my god that was so embarrassing. And it works really well just whenever you go in circles the circular motion it's really good so <laughs> so then I'm also just gonna go in again with the same shade can I do like a little overcoat on it and just keep blending and blending okay so next thing I'm going to do is that I'm gonna go in with this like little darker brown shade and I'm gonna go with my like like get my crease defined I guess you can say so I'm just gonna go back and forth again I'm using the same brush this brush does really good wonders and lets me use it more than once and it's purposeful and I'm just going to go towards my eyelid and then keep going back and forth on my crease. So then again, I'm going in with that one shade I first used. And I'm just going to kind of like go over it with that lighter tone. And then next thing's next, I'm going in with it with... Again, another Farrah brush. I'm going to be mixing this, this, this eyeshadow 
with this one just like a little again overcoat I really like I, I love mixing these two the more eyeshadow you use and you work with the more you'll be able to like blend out and like you know get a defined I guess um I look okay so the next thing I'm going to be doing is going in with my foundation I've been using MAC Studio Fix Fluid and it's SPF gotta keep our skin good and I'm a NC25 so and I like to like kind of like shake it same thing that it, that's what I do with my concealer I like to just shake it I don't like it just then I'm going to okay, so this is where I'm going to be using again my beauty blender I'm gonna mainly aim towards my neck because I don't want it to have like one spot oh and then like your neck's just oh no it's this okay guys so then now again I'm going in with my tar concealer and I also use my concealer to shape out my eyeshadow just to give it you know that good sharp kind of look I normally aim for and I'm just gonna spread it out and do what I need to do with it and normally if I have like any extras like see I accidentally put so much I kind of just put it in areas where I normally would use it but I don't blend it out throughout my neck blend on the areas where I use my concealer okay and guys now I'm going in again with my setting powder and I'm just gonna get all the areas that I used my concealer Ooh, my concealer on oh okay guys so I also use my setting powder so I get my creases I have permanently have creases I guess because I smile too much but I try to just use it so I could just fill in little creases my cousin Kylie taught me this technique at one point I did not know how to do makeup and she was always my go-to girl on advice so she really helped me get out of that horrible horrible face guys I'll tell you I don't know what I was doing back then and then now I'm going in again with my setting powder and I kind of just basically used my little brush not brush I used my this thing I can't think of what it's called and I just went on important areas again like where I use my concealer or just to get my th thing going but I also like to use my setting powder to go throughout that out my face just little areas I really just love the way the setting powder works on you guys and then I'm just gonna like kind of blend nothing really important but then I'm also just gonna over here get my face going on the top all right so next I'm working on my contour and I'm using a morphe I don't know what that means but as you can tell I use it a lot the bronzer I love the bronzer and then I'm also gonna mix it in with the wet and wild contouring palette I can use that a lot and I'm going to be using, honestly I don't know what this is, but I'm going to be using this brush. What I do is kind of, I go on both of them and I just kind of like get a good amount that I need to get. And then I go straight to this palette. And then kind of just like again, like it's kind of like eyeshadow I guess you can say and just go in circular motions. Don't press so hard. Just kind of play with it. And then I'm also going to go right here and get a little forehead. And then I'm going in with my e.l.f. blending brush and just kind of going in circular motions just to get all the loose powder off. Just blend it and blend it. I love this brush so much. It does good wonders for you girl blending wise I'm wearing my nose because 
I'm going in with both of these two and I'm just gonna go. And then sometimes when I'm feeling spontaneous, I usually go in right here on my cupid throw. Oh. Oh my god, I used too much. I'm over it. So then again, this is where this comes really handy and it blend it. Now so I'm going to be doing is kind of like blending out the rest of my setting powder. Right there. And then I'm going in with this light softer cream again from the elf palette so what I'm going to do is go in for my bronze again I'm I'm just using my morphe palette thin fancy it didn't really change it up I'm just gonna no bronze on When in doubt, blend it out. That's what I'm going to say. When in doubt, blend it out, guys. Because if you feel like you have too much, just blend, 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 blend until you feel like you hit the right amount that you want. Okay, so I'm basically done with my contouring part of my face powder-wise. And I'm going to be using my setting powder again. I'm going to be getting my creases and I'm going to kind of cleaning up my contour because it was really messy. I have a beer. It's cute. It's like a nutrient. I'm probably going to try doing it. I don't know. <laughs> and then now I'm going straight to my eyelashes. I've been using, they're like blowout Ritzel ones, and they're so pretty, guys. And if you're, again, new to makeup and you want to use eyelashes, I recommend Kiss Drugstore ones if you don't feel like wasting so much money and you just kind of want to try it. But, like, these are legit my go-to eyelashes. They're reasonable price, and yeah, guys, like they're just really good. Okay, so now that I got the glue off, I'm going to be using the Kiss Strip Lash, and um, this is like this is it. Oh. Okay, just trying to jam though. Now that after like they're kind of dried off, you're gonna put them on like right. Well, because okay, actually, a lot of people ask me how I do it so well. I really don't know. I just kind of like go up based off my my eyelashes, I guess you can say, and like I don't really know how to describe it, but I'll just show you all. Okay guys, so while I'm letting that, like kind of said, I normally go and do my bottom eyelashes and I use my Clinique High, I use my Clinique, I use my Clinique High Impact Mascara, it's kind of like the little, little one, and I just kind of loosely just do my eyelashes. And then now, like, usually by that time, they are done, like, kind of, like, drying. And then, again, I go in with Clinique High Impact Curling Mascara. And what I do, it, what I do is that I basically blend in my raw eyelashes with my Kiss ones. The only reason why I love... 
kiss eyelashes like you don't really have to do much it's naturally just like so flawless so now that I'm done I kind of just let them dry note to self for future reference don't ever 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 do your mascara right before you do your setting powder like I'd say give it enough time so like do st other stuff to your face so you can let them dry because like you know if you're setting it then it's gonna just like hit I've done that before so I'm just helping us out you got to and the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to do my blush and my highlight and I use this for my blush I'm trying to find my highlighter one this for my highlighter but first I'm going to do my blush and yes I am leaving my um, setting powder using a prior is because I do not know if I use that word right I'm sorry if I didn't, I just want to say because it sounded pretty big. But um, the reason why I do it is because like I still just let it set and let it stay longer. The more you let it stay, the more like the more the better basically. Again, like I just, as I said, and it works really good. So then I'm just kind of going to go right here and just put some blush. And then next I'm going to do is use my highlighter i i got this from my ipsy thing like guys like they're so good and i just go throughout right here and get like this little area too i feel bad because like i don't again like same thing with the contouring nose i don't really take my highlighting so seriously I kind of just go through it carelessly and then the next thing I'm going to do with my highlighter is that I'm going to go right here under my eyebrow and just give it, you know, that little look. Okay, so then now I am going in and changing my powder, so then again, I'm just gonna dab it. Blend, blend, blend. And basically, I'm kind of just gonna blend throughout the rest of my face. And the next thing I'm going to do is use my L'Oreal True Match, and I am a W40. And I'm going to use my, again, my fair brush. I had received this from my Ipsy bag. I'm just going to set my foundation powder. And blend again throughout your neck, guys. Don't forget your neck. And just work with it. I know with my Sephora rough. I don't know what this is, but. <laughs> oh. Okay, anyways, but it kind of gives like a little natural look, so I'm just going to use it. And I'm just going to go over it and do my lips. And I feel very lazy because I don't... I feel very lazy because I don't shape my lips, if that makes sense. I don't go in with my pencil or anything. I feel like my lips are like naturally defined, so I'm just like, mm, I don't normally go in with that. And then next, I'm going to set my face. I'm using the MAC Prep Prime and the Fix in Gold Light. And you gotta shake it, but it's so pretty. Ah, oh, like you can see that. And what it does is that it, you can use it as a primer, you could, um, Again, it's setting spray, and then it's SPF and a moisturizer all in one, and it throws glitter at your face. So I, you know, it's a 10, 10. And they actually sell this, like they actually have ones with Census, and I think, I believe that it was Coconut and Roses, and I forgot the other one. And then again, they had the glittery one, they also had like a little rose gold one, but this is like the gold glitter, and then again, they have, and then they have, um, the natural one where it doesn't have really anything it's just 
a regular setting spray. But I took advantage of it because they were all the same prices. These are 27 at max, and they are amazing. So I'm gonna use it to set my face. Shake it. So that's that. Whew. All right, guys. All right, guys. So this is my natural beauty glam. I hope y'all liked it. I hope y'all got some tips from it or you learned something. It would mean so much to me. Um, if you have any pointers or anything, please feel free to comment below. Yes, I might get booty hurt, but I mean, you got to help a homegirl out and just point stuff out to me. Um, so this is the end of my video. I hope y'all liked it. Like and subscribe to your girl Clueless Corinne. Remember, this is not a goodbye. It's I'll see y'all later. You know you love me. XOXO Clueless Corinne. Bye guys.